let's connect the timing unit to the computer using an USB cable. Once you have the timer powered on, go to your Wi-Fi and find the timer uh, unit. So here I got a bunch of timer units up, but the FPVSIM-Y is the new one I just uh, built. So I just uh, choose it. Once you click the Wi-Fi, let's uh, open our timer client and then click the connect timer hotspot. It will connect to it. Once it's connected, go to settings and uh, here you can see the hotspot SSID and the IP address. And then let's connect to the router. So here I got a router specifically for timing system, which has the FPVSIM timer 2 and 5. 2 is for 2.4 gigahertz and uh, 5.8 gigahertz. Since ESP32 doesn't support 5.8 gigahertz, so here we can only use uh, FPVSIM timer 2. So router here, just putting FPVSIM dash timer 2. And then my router doesn't have a password. We can just uh, save and reboot. Okay, now let's still connect to the hotspot and then go to the settings. And then here you can see it's already connected to the router and it has the IP address from the router. Now, how do we connect to the timer through router? In your Wi-Fi, just connect to the router and then change the IP address to the IP address we just saw. Now you, now you connect to the timing unit using router mode. Now with the router, you can just use Ethernet cable, anything to connect the timing system with your computer, which is the most reliable connection, especially for events. Now you might want to ask, how do I get the get a fixed ID, IP address so I don't need to connect to the timing unit every time to find the IP address? Uh, it's actually doable. Every router should have this uh, should have this feature. Now I just use my router to show you how to do it. Usually the router address is one point one, but uh, different routers are different. So please refer to your router manuals. So mine is uh, Linksys E twenty five hundred. The place you set up, set it up is on. DHCP reservation. Now you click on it. And then I already have two timing units set up, right? And then the 103 is the new timing unit we want to we want to add. And then let's copy the IP address 103 and then the MAC address to the MAC address field. The MAC address is like the hardware address of the timing unit. So every time when the timing unit connects to the router, the router knows, okay, it's you. Now let's click add. And then save settings. Now every time the timer and router boots up, it'll get a fixed IP address. We don't need to check it again. Another very important thing to set up for a new timer is to configure the RSSI peak. So a FPVSIM timer also uses the RSSI to detect a pass. This is no different than other RSSI-based uh, solutions. So how do you do the calibration? Go to Settings, go to the Quad Detection section, and then click on the Calibrate RSSI peak. It will then basically enter the RSSI calibration mode. Try to fly through the gates two to three times, um, and then after 30 seconds, it will finish uh, automatically. During the calibration, it basically detects the peak RSSI it's going to get. And then that is very important to detect uh, the drone entering the gate and leave the gate. So basically how this works is uh, if, the RS if the current RSSI is higher than the peak RSSI minus the enter sens sensitivity, then it's considering the quad has entered the gate. And then once the RSSI drops below the peak RSSI minus the quad leave sensitivity, in this case 27, then it's considered this uh, quad has uh, 
has gone away. And then I enter and I leave two events together combined is considered a pass. And it uses the peak RSSI time as the gate passing time. Usually you don't need to change the default values here. But if you do set up your timing gate close to other gates where you might fly by when you're not passing the timing gate, you might need to carefully tweak these values. But uh, I would just recommend put the timing gate further away from where you might fly by to save yourself some trouble. There's also a shortcut here where you can just click directly to enter the calibration mode. If you like this video, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support.